Okay, welcome back. And now we're going to talk about translations of sine and cosine curves. Okay, so now to, to better understand how this is working here, look at these two functions, right? So now what we're doing is we're adding this minus c in the argument. Okay, so to understand what's going on here with these functions by having this extra part in here, um, let's look at these functions, right? So let's look at y equals sine x and y equals cosine x. We know that these two functions have a period that go from 0 to 2 pi, right? Okay, we know that. One cycle goes from 0 to 2 pi. So that means these two functions, right, will go one cycle when what? Here when x, here it's when x, but here x is this thing, right, if you want it like quote unquote x or x prime, whatever you want to call it. But, but what we're saying is that um, when b times x minus c, right, goes from 0 to 2 pi. So it completes one cycle as this um, expression goes from 0 to Two pi, right? And so if we solve for x for this interval, what do we get? Well, we get x equals what? c over b to what? x equals 2 pi plus c divided by b or um, 2 pi over b uh, plus c. So this would be the left end point, right? And this would be the right end point. And what we would want to actually write, oh, hold on a second. Oh, this is in C. This is C over B. C over B. So notice that this, if you look at this, C divided by B plus 2 pi over B, well, this is the period, right? So what do we call C over B? Well, C over B is the phase shift. And so that tells us that the um, so there's a couple of things. So this tells us that the period is going to be two pi over b, um, and it also tells us that it's shifted by an amount of what c over b, and that's why it's called the phase shift. Okay. It tells us how far it's being shifted, either right or left. All right. Have a great day.